guys, welcome back. We are making a homemade version of tiki toss. Okay, so we got twine. We have some hooks, two different types in case one of them doesn't work. We have the screw-in piece, we have the ring, and everything else you might need. So this game, Tiki Toss, costs around $30 on Amazon. Um, it doesn't come with any of the supplies to make it really, like for outdoors. So we're gonna show you guys how to make a homemade version of Tiki Toss. So the only thing that we really had to purchase is this two by four. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Keep going. So we had to purchase this two by four. We actually bought it for the chef. <laughs> and we just never used it, so we're gonna use it now. So we're gonna measure four feet on the board. You can go anywhere from three feet to six feet for the top part. It depends on how challenging you want it. So we decided around four feet would be good. Ah! Oh. Uh. <laughs> and then just okay. put a mark and that's where you're gonna cut. So four feet is right here. Okay. Now we're gonna cut another four foot piece to attach to the post. And then we're gonna use the remaining for the for the angle. In the yes, the, to attach it yeah. at the angle. For the angle. Yep. Yeah. The support. The support. Okay. All right. So there's our first four foot section. Then we're gonna cut one more of those. So there's our second four foot section. Oh, give or take four feet. It's a little bit off because I had to uh, cut it twice. And then for this piece, we're gonna put it at the 45 degree angle mode to cut this at an angle. And this piece is gonna be the support that basically holds these and the support goes in between, which we'll show you in a second. All right, so now we're cutting the last piece here for the angle. This is the one tool that's really helpful to have a miter saw. So hopefully you know somebody who has one or you can borrow one. Uh, it's just gonna make this a lot easier. So basically this is what we're going to be building here. We have our two pieces that are gonna go like this, which we're going to attach to the fence. And then the piece we cut here at an angle, although this is a little tricky to hold it all, it's going to sit here in the middle as our uh, bracket for support. So we're gonna go ahead and put two screws in here, two screws in here, and two screws in the back to attach these boards together. So we have an impact driver, which is helpful, but any regular drill would work just fine for putting these screws in. Do I hold this part? You're gonna hold it like this. And then you're gonna pull the trigger and have it going straight. Oh. Snug it up, get your drill straight, lower it a little bit, and keep it snug up against that, and push. Like this? Yep. Just a little bit of throttle. There you go, a little more. Good. It's an impact driver, so it does that. So you wanna just snug it up a little bit. Ooh. And there's that piece. What'd you think of the impact driver? It was, I'll leave it to the professionals. Hold that middle piece in place, perfect. Now if you're also looking to make like a plant holder, anything like that, pretty much doing the same exact thing here as we've done so far. So this is a lot of potential projects out of just a two by four and a uh, miter saw. I think we should make one. We certainly can. All right. So to make it easier on ourselves, we're gonna put the hook in uh, and then we'll mount it to the fence and then we'll go from there. 
I think we might actually mount it to the tree because I'm worried about the fence post being pulled from it because they're not, those, those fence posts right there are not cemented in. So I'm worried about the weight. So maybe we'll look at attaching it to that tree. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I've got just a basic drill bit here. We're gonna drill a pilot hole for the eye hook that we're going to attach the string to. Now this may not be a bit for wood, which is what I'm finding right now. So let me get the right bit now. Uh, there might be a knot here. There we go. Someone's drinking on the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> At uh, Manhattan, I'm gonna be total menace to society. <laughs> All right. One backyard at a time. Yeah. Can you stand the other way, you menace? Check your yards, folks. <laughs> so this eye hook has actually 130 pound capacity, so we're gonna be nowhere near that. But essentially, you always wanna drill a pilot hole, just like I've done here. It just makes it a lot easier when you're threading something like this in, uh, and it's gonna make the board less likely to split. It wouldn't split from something this small, but it's just gonna make this easier as this screws in here. And this is pretty long, so I'm just gonna watch on the other side and make sure we're not poking out the top. All right, the last thing we're gonna do before we attach it to, I'm not sure where we're attaching it, <laughs> we'll figure that out. I'm gonna attach my string, that way we don't have to attach it uh, with a ladder. Dazzle twine. Isn't it cute? I hope it works. We'll see what this, if it uh, is too, it bends too much. Well, you we'll said see. twine, right? Uh, string, but this should work. If not, we'll, we're gonna be, maybe have to replace this with a different string. But or we can just keep replacing it with that string until we run out. Yeah, but if it doesn't, we'll see if it's enough weight with the ring. I bet it is. Work. Not that much of it, and we're gonna tie that to that ring. Okay, I'll trim this extra off. All right, so now let's figure out where we're gonna put this because that's going to affect how high the hook needs to be. Um, but yeah, this should work just fine. We're about four feet, so it should be, you know, a little bit more challenging, but not too hard. Uh, and then we'll have a nice little coin toss or ring toss game. Tiki toss. Yeah, you can't use that, that's trademark. <laughs> All right, so we, we're thinking about attaching it to the fence here. These are not cemented in. There's a fair amount of play. As you can see, that one's way out of line and the whole fence actually moves. So I don't want to add more weight to the fence. So we decided to use these um, lag bolts and just pretty much attach it right to this tree. And hopefully, you know, these two screws are very intrusive. They shouldn't really affect the health of the tree. Um, but we'll see what happens. So we ended up having to add this little backboard here for the bounce effect. Um, which I just happen to have sitting around, which works really well for this. But you may find you need that as well, depending on the surface that you mount it to. And now I just gotta hook it to prove that it works. There it is. Oh my god, I haven't hit recorded yet. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so this is what we made. As you can tell, we put a backboard right there, make it a little bit easier, and yeah. And so we are four feet from the uh, board. Like I said, you can go anywhere from three to six feet. Four feet is quite challenging. I'm not very good at this, but I'm. it, it is definitely a challenge to get it on the hook. Um, but compared to spending 30 bucks on a kit, on Amazon that doesn't even come with any of this structure here. You'd have to build that anyway. All you get with that kit on Amazon is like a backboard, a hook, a ring and string for $30. So this is way cheaper and a cool outdoor alternative rather than, you know, playing this game inside. So uh, yeah, we're going to have fun with this game and at least I'm going to have fun with it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this was our little DIY project for the day.